Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy video. In the last video, we stopped some trolls that were invading Hogsmeade and we did some side quests, which was cool because we figured out what those cabinets with the keys were and we found an ancient treasure of Hogwarts, which is actually super cool. But now we are actually going to be, if I see no more uh, side quests on the way, we are finally going to be going to talk to Mr. Fig. Nice to Professor see Fig. What the house? He apparated. What did I hear? What was that sound? You. Those are the sounds of the keys. Oh, I got you. Got you, bitch. Give me that house token. Okay, when I hear those really shrill things, that means I can do house token. Which, that's an actually really cool side quest to find because it didn't really give you it. You can't imagine how inconvenient that is. Oh. Isn't there a curfew in Hogwarts? Isn't that why everyone's in the common room and I'm just chilling? Rest are fake. As if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather convenient arrival of the new student of Hogwarts of fifth year. If you can believe, Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them accumulate before the term begins. I have assigned this test to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigel is black headmaster. Oh. You have a little chest, I'm gonna steal some money from you, baby. Or not, I'm gonna steal a fucking ceramic mask from you. What the fuck is that shit? That shit's better than what I have already? Why? Okay, well, I need to really. Start in the back button really kinda sucked for me. What the fuck? That's creepy as shit. I kind of want to keep it though, just in case I do like, I like dark arts. Wait, damn! I wait until morning. Hello, Fig. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... 
They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade? With Rookwood? The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. Hogwarts. But I do not know where it leads. Weird. It leads to the library. It's gone. A restricted right? section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I really need defense magic. You see me in the dueling club? You probably shouldn't know because, you know, well, that's illegal, but me in the dueling club, bro, I've been smacking all them bitches. Where were you? Handy resource indeed. I saw you, little flat. Oh, oh. Revelio. The Heteran Black Skeleton. Oh, that's the other dragon that we saw in the fucking poster thing. The large dragon skeleton that hangs in the defense against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in eastern Wales during the Great Poacher era of 1878. Jake, you are old. Hello, Professor Hecate. Ah, I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know I told you. you finished. 
Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. No shit. Revelio. Where are you? Lachlan the Lanky. This statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky, a tall, slender wizard who appeared quite proud of himself for what precisely no one knows. Hello. I think so. We shall see who shows up. I know, Sebastian. I know. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Fuck yeah. Yes. Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed. Two girls? Oh, I'm about to commit a hate crime. Oh, there's three of us. What the fuck? This is fucked up. Triple is for Akio already. You're better than that. Three on two, that's what we whack for a round. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round cool. is for all yep. the gobstones, so to speak. What am I doing so now speak. for this quest? For all the gobstones. What I just agree to? I just fuck off. I just delete. I just had to. I just ah uh, to do that shit again. Hello, Lucan. Why? Ready for? I'm ready. Let's do it. Done. Brilliant. Are you? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed. Apologies in Time to commit another fucking hate crime. This is this is also again not fair. Oh. 
That shit again, you guys suck dick. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Okay, why did it make me do it again last time? Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Oh. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Excellent form! Nicely done! Levioso. Shit. Levioso. Damn. I'd say that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Thank you, Lucan. Assignment's all finished. Professor Hackett, I have done it. I've just gone and done it. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to... I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far. But please, maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Damn. 
Thank you. Good work. That's cool. I do Lumos back if I ever need it. Incendio, you're getting it. Keep at it. And do try not to incinerate yourself. I'll try not to. Now when I get back to that bridge. That doesn't mean I'll be good. Wait. Let's go down for the side quest. Side quest. I wonder if you Hello, might be able to help Duncan. me with a small... Uh, you wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about Hobhouse. you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Ah. Uh. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff skein? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff skeins to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plant you go get I yourself then. In hidden herbology you don't want to be. I haven't a clue. But have you seen scary. the kinds of plants Professor Garlic it. grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. Rebellion. Central Hall Fountain. This coordinate fountain features indirectly carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including the set stone siren circling the fountain of the base. I miss having my own bed. Hello, Key. Incantations. Slytherin's a lucky. Bitch. Oh. 
Wait, where is the fucking? All I have at home are brothers. Hello, Sandra. I have made a mess of is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Mm. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That's awesome, but why wouldn't you just use when God in the yo saw? Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Army tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Ah, oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Army spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees it. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Cool. I'm going to have to use Akio to get the books. Got it. Only four more to go. Oh, I just fucking set books on fire. Set fire. Fire to all the books. No more learning. Key. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd this, this back too if I were her. Today was a good day. That that is until Gar splash whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lace wing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He is such a menace thing. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew. He would have been expelled by now. I both wrath Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm beginning to more partial to them now, although I prefer meat pie. Do your diary sucks. Why the fuck do you care? I'm guessing that's a restricted section. Found another one. Fine. I bet you the other two are upstairs. I'm at the library for the location. Now? So just in case I ever need to go to the library again. First one. Revelio. Oh, that was a fucking page. Revelio. Just the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. 
Just so you know, bitch, I read your diary. Nothing exciting. No, like, crushes or anything. Very sad. Get in there. Not. Hello. Here are your books. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Oh, I'm to know how you really feel about them. You might reward me for my time. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. I'm only joking. I wouldn't do that to you, Cressida. Only trying to teach you to be a little more careful. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Things moving. That's sick. Okay, I learned to send you fucking plants. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. Incendio. Whoa, what the fuck? This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Ah, uh, I forgot about Devil's snare. I walked full straight into that bitch. Lumos. Loom seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. That was it. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Thing scary as fuck. Ah, oh, it's to the greenhouse. Thank you. 
I don't know how I'm allowed to just collect these, but I will collect them if you let me. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I was say, is it not going to allow me to go through that door? Have you found anything to uh, prove my. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. You're welcome. I need to switch my fucking shit back around. Actually, that's good. There you are. I'm ready. I learned incendio. I can light shit on fire now. Let's go light this whole fucking library on fire. Let's watch these books burn. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Fuck you. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Why am I talking to Sebastian? Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Oh, so we're just going to ask Sebastian now, even though we had a, you know, a good thing going with the teacher, and the teacher would have just been like, oh, we can just go whenever we want, whenever I'm good. No, I'm going to go sneak into it with Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. 
What was that all about? I'm not entirely certain. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned and he's at the fucking prankster. Why would he not like to doesn't take like to clandestine what activities that shit? taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. What's up, brother? See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. True. I mean, I get this will let me get to those chests, I bet. The chests that have an eye that close when they see me. Disillusionment will go. Where are you at? Disillusionment. Alright. So, I only have one left. I'll be quieter than a job and all. That sounded suspicious. You sound suspicious, bitch. Still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract. I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Up my dick. Oh, that one's charmed to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. 
Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. We must so what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne. Revelio! Return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing? Change of books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do you not as much to the tendency to fly from one's hands as their content be attached to their tribal and no educational value whatsoever. No, we've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Revelio. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Whoa. I don't want all four of them. Of course, traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. Repair her. Oh, I don't want to repair her. Okay, though. Put it really in here? I found put it really in here? What the fuck? 
also, I like having that as that. I'm also. Here, I've gotten two gold things so far. 30? Hey, it's the off oh, of Quidditch robes. That's actually kind of sick. What was the other one that I got? Oh, yeah, it's a hat. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Incendio. Wake up by how? Fuck off. Lumos. I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. Oh, just a common spell? Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, I'm a fucking G. I'm not a G. Oh, dear God. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Faces now. What's that? Stupid. 
fuck you guys. Ah. Okay. Incendio. Protector. Stupid one. That one was a lot easier. This must be the way forward, but to where? about me. Hello everyone. It's a book. It's a book after all. A book. It's a book above pensive. I don't know if there's a memory in there, brother. Is that Hogsmeade? the whole city.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganock. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. There was another like me. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> fuck you, Peeves. Just fuck off. Now they're from expected. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, there we go. But I will do that in the next episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And we return the fate of what we've learned in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.